Yeah. At 96 and 95 years old, Edith Hill and Eddie Harrison are happy newlyweds. But their recent marriage after 10 years together is not without controversy. Edith has dementia, and some of her relatives want the marriage annulled, claiming the union complicates issues with her care, living situation, and estate. Attorney Jean Galloway Ball is an expert in elder law. She says the key question is whether Edith had sufficient capacity to enter into a marriage. Because capacity is not a light switch. You don't turn it on or off. You can have capacity for one thing and not for another thing. So I think from that standpoint, it creates uh, some interesting legal issues for a court in trying to decide is this marriage valid or not. Ironically, the couple would have faced a different legal issue had they met in their 20s, 30s, or even their 40s before the Supreme Court overruled Virginia's ban on interracial marriage. We see hearts, we don't see color. I don't look at her, I don't see no different than her than me. One of Hill's daughters, Rebecca Wright, fully supports her mother's new marriage. She helped facilitate the wedding, presided over by a 95-year-old church elder. It helps her to care for him, and it helps him to care for her. She's never been happier than she is today, being married to him. A judge has appointed a lawyer to assume guardianship of Hill and investigate the marriage to assure Hill's interests are protected. If a court would find that she had had the true intent here to marry this person, and that clearly was what she wanted, then I would think they would be faced with sustaining the marriage. Unless he changed now, but I don't think there'd be any change in him. He's a good man. He's a good husband. I'll give you that. I'll tell the whole world about that. No matter the legal outcome, Eddie and Edith plan to make the most of every day they have together. I'm gonna keep him. Hannah Bookdahl, Associated <laughs> Press. I'm gonna keep him.